Hello. Welcome back. My volume was pretty loud to start with. All right, so uh, back with the final story of Love Choice. First one was adorable. Second one, kind of bittersweet. So now we get to see what the third story is like. Love Detective. It's got a good name to start with. It's kind of a cute name. Alright. So, let's get started. And hopefully this one goes for like 30 to 40 minutes. Anyway, I'm home. You're so late today. Go have a shower and I'll get dinner ready. Okay. My husband and I have been married for three years. The freshness of marriage life was washed away by ordinary days long ago. Most of our time is spent on our careers. Sometimes we don't even have time to eat dinner together. She thought while playing with her mobile phone. Her husband's phone rang. Incoming call, Mary. Oh? You sure are not going to pick a gift. Thanks for driving me home. Where are the cotton buds? I, uh, I'll get them for you. It, it's my client. Ooh. Should have said colleague. A few days later, she hadn't found anything else unusual about her husband. She never told him about the message, but she always felt that he was hiding something. Over the weekend, her husband was working overtime at his company. Yeah, if you're gonna lie, it's, uh, I mean, first of all, don't stutter. Uh, that is, you know, sure a sign that you're lying. Second, uh, you know, try to keep the lies as believable as possible and as simple as possible. The closer to the truth, the better, because it's easier to remember and, you know, In which case, I mean, I suppose it's possible that this woman is a client. Hopefully, this is uh, just like... He was getting a gift for his wife or something. Anyway, a husband was working overtime at his company. She decided to see what clues she could find in the house. They don't cook very often. The fridge only has some fruit and a few drinks in it. And a plate that says, 
584. I don't remember having a plate like this. 584. What does it mean? Who puts a... Who puts a clue on a plate? That's just weird. So many express boxes. He seems to have bought way more things than me recently. Let's have a look. What is this? A key? There's also these light strips and all this junk. He's definitely hiding something. He didn't clean up after Belly. Again. Before we brought Belly home, he promised we'd take care of her together. But I've ended up having to do everything myself. Why can't we see the cat? Why isn't the cat on screen? She thought while cleaning up cat poop. Will you stop leaving dirty clothes just lying around? I said a million times. There's the cat. Kitty! Hi, kitty. A trash basket. I doubt there's anything useful in it. You never know. Even if there is something useful in it, I don't want to touch it. Fine. Let's check it out. <laughs> Treasure in Wastes uh, achievement for that one. There's a drawing on this bit of paper. Curious. Can I click on the cat? Belly is sleeping in our bed again. Oh, it's so cute. No. Dirty clothes. They smell terrible. I'd better do the laundry. There's something stuck to the washing machine here. She unstuck the little card from the washing machine. 314. The little card that you found stuck to the washing machine. 314. What does it mean? Curious. I'd better start watering. The clothes are dry. I guess I'll put them away. There's a strange box in the drawer. It's locked. Curious. Recently, he's been playing with this strange box a lot. It doesn't look like a figure. What is it? Alright.
in theory, just uh, some trial and error to get the uh, figure out which uh, order the codes go in. But I'm using a cheat guide. Interesting. Fun little puzzle box here. Happy anniversary. Please put the present here. Happy anniversary. That's what he's been hiding. I should put things back the way they were before he gets back. A few days later. It's so dark, and the lights aren't working. I knew it would be today. Haha! <laughs> okay, this dude... You know what? Credit to this dude. Uh, he sort of went above and beyond, I think. These cans. <laughs> I heart you. The note says, Dear wife, to avoid starvation, please enjoy your favorite cheesecake, husband. And the line below, don't forget to bring the glue. Yeah! It is my favorite brand of cheesecake. The flag on it looks familiar. Yummy, as always. So that's why there's a code on there, 584. The key, I see. Wow, it's the lipstick that I lost. It has a little card with it. I asked a friend to buy this for you. Is it the right color? Aww. Cute. See, he should have just said that it was a- he should have just said the girl was a friend. Or, you know, however he knew her. Obviously she wasn't a client. So she could have, he could have just said, you know, got a friend or coworker or whatever. Anyway, I bet it won't be an empty box this time. Oh, yeah, I didn't. Uh, she thought and opened the drawer. I didn't actually open it last time. Oops. A pen. The note says, "Dear wife, please bring this magical pen with you." This is very cute. Also going to be very short, I'm afraid. It's so dark here. With the light flickering, the words on the paper can barely be read. The paper says, Please connect the two hearts with the magic pen. Husband. I suppose this is the magic pen. I think I just need to connect these two hearts. Mm. Hmm. 
May as well make uh do something interesting with it. Aww. Wow. Jeez, this dude went all out. This is ridiculous, dude. Over the top. As soon as the light came on, she was impressed. Look at all this. This necklace. Is it a gift for me? I remember it was here. Aha! That card! <laughs> Is this a tiny Christmas tree? Ellie is sleeping in her bed again. So cute. The note said, the most beautiful dress for the most beautiful wife. Aww. Doesn't seem like I can actually put it on though, unfortunately. It's locked from inside. I'll just pretend I don't know what he's put inside. I don't know what he's put inside. We have food here. It looks delicious. A new fabric cover for the sofa. Amazing. He's finally started cleaning up after the cat. Great. I suppose, uh, like, there's probably a few things that, like, if I'd clicked on them earlier, I would have gotten flavor text. I think I should leave this till last. Um, I don't think there's anything else I can... I think I've got a, I think I've done everything that I can do so far, so. My graduation photo. When we moved in here, we assembled the furniture ourselves to save money. Our first time fishing. You said you'd catch us free dinner. But we never caught anything. I like this photo. We took it one weekend when we went hiking. I mean, they must have had somebody taking the, these particular photos. Our last anniversary, we went to a fancy restaurant. I got a fright when I saw the bill. We went skiing together. Next to you, I never felt the cold. He loves video games, and we play together sometimes. This is when I had just started cooking by myself. But I am a good cook now. I feel that. Anyone who ever watched any of my, uh, the cooking streams I did will... I never caught it. I never set anything on fire, luckily. I never did anything ambitious enough to set anything uh, that would catch fire. But... I'm sure there's somebody, I'm sure there's somebody watching who remembers my attempts at stew. The day we picked up Ellie, she was so small. 
she doesn't look small in this photo. Kittens really are tiny. It's adorable how tiny they are. <laughs> the premiere of Sherlock Homecat. I really like that movie. <laughs> Call back to the very first uh, bit in this game. The uh, the love game. Korean style wedding photos. I was so nervous. I was a terrible model. A starry sky during when we were away. What a beautiful place. Happy anniversary. Please put the present here. There you go. Wow. How would you even set this up? He finally showed up. Her eyes were already wet with happy tears. Yeah, no kidding. He wiped her tears away. They embraced. Under flickering candlelight, they enjoyed the fancy dinner he had prepared. I'm probably the luckiest person in the world she thought while eating her meal. If he's willing to go to that much effort, he feels the same way. I wish I hadn't known about all this. I want to trust him. There must be a better choice. Apparently, there is a bit of a better choice. You're so late. I go have a shower and I'll get dinner ready. Okay. Ooh, nice bonuses there. Woo. Yeah, some nice bonuses on that one. A few days later, on the evening of their anniversary, she cried happily at this carefully organized surprise. Under flickering candlelight, they enjoyed the fancy dinner he had prepared. I'm probably the luckiest person in the world, she thought while eating her meal. Thank you for all of this. Married couples don't need to say thank you to each other, my lovely wife. Yeah, they do. They should still say thank you. I want you to call me by my name. Please choose a name for her. It won't affect the story. 
but you can only choose once. I mean, yeah, let's go with Grace. Two hundred ninety-eight thousand two hundred and four players have made their choice. Sixty thousand eight hundred seventy chose Grace as her name in this story. Thank you for your blessing towards Stan and Grace. We hope you find love as well. Akaba Studio. Well, if that don't just make you cry. And here's the credits. I forget, I feel like I might have uh, shown it before. Now it's a 10 out of 10 game. 10 out of 10. Game of the decade. Game of the century. Right there.
Well, that was adorable. I jump over the wall of mine, find it out. You, aware of the distance of souls, think it through. She, explore the details of life, pick it up. Thank you for playing. And thank you for watching. So yeah, that was, uh, an eight, about a half an hour or so. About how long is that? About as long as I was hoping it would last for. So yeah, that was super cute. Uh, yeah, I loved this game. I like this game. I'm glad that I bought it. It was really, really cute and sweet and nice. And uh, so this is kind of a nice little game to play before I get into Star Trek Resurgence. Uh, I will be starting my Let's Play of that game next week. Uh, but yeah, so Love Choice from uh, Akaba Studio. One of the cutest games, cutest, sweetest games I've ever played, I think. Just absolutely wonderful. So I had a really good time playing this, and I hope you had a good time watching it. And uh, I'll see you in another video, I hope.